cute. It kinda is, right? Yeah, that's cute. And shorten it up. That could be very sexy. What is going on? You know, I'm working on me and I'm working on my triggers. Mm -hmm. I told you at your house that I talked to Pastor John Gray, yes, right? Yes. And so he gave me this homework mm -hmm. that I need to find something nice to say to every person. But I don't think it's just a me thing. I think... <laughs> you go put it off on... Yeah. I feel like in this group, it could be valuable for everybody to try to find something positive to say. You know, like, it could be a whole... I don't want to use the word retreat. Right. But kind of like... Yeah, kind of like that. I'm trying to put together this day retreat where all of the ladies can get together and uplift each other, empower each other, say something nice to each other, because we do a lot of arguing. And I want you there, Shawnee. I don't talk to Evelyn, so right. I can't extend an invitation to her. Oh, you would like me to do it? I, I would like for you to do it. OK. Like, okay. would you say something nice to Evelyn? It was difficult. OK. But I did come up with something. Jen. <sighs> I don't know what I would say to Jen. She's a little fakey Jake. I did talk to Sammy. She told me to tell everyone hello that she with. I don't know what that means. Are we, like, not supposed to laugh? Because I think she feels a way about you laughing because she did mention something to me. Jen told me the other day that you have a problem with me. Did she? Not laughing. So did she tell you the whole conversation and she just brought you that little tidbit back? And see, then I would have to say that. Which you, maybe you, you just should at this point get that part off your chest. Well, we'll, you know, we'll cross all those bridges. I do want to go on record as saying this. I heard this thing. Okay. I'm not going to say who told it to me, but I want you to know that it's information that I would never and would have never ever said anywhere because I feel like it would hurt the people involved. Which means I am involved. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But you're not saying no, because I think if I wasn't involved, you'd be like, no, Shawnee, it has nothing to do with you. I feel like your name wasn't specifically said, but what was said might affect you. I'll say that. This is cute. I've heard a rumor, and it was a rumor that I knew a year ago. It affects her ex. It affects her relationships and dynamics within the group. I think I'm being messy right now, and I was trying not to be messy. I'm still lost in everything that you're talking about. Although I would never want to repeat the rumor, I want her to know that it's out there and encourage the person who said it to own up and say it to Shawnee personally.